Hello everybody and a very warm welcome to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby. Here we are. Uh, Wednesday, final show. Uh, I think fast becoming a lot of people's favourite show. This one, Beautiful Beginnings, where, you know, we do go back to basics just a little bit. Uh, open up the floor for you to ask all of those questions. And I, I do think this is a lovely show where, you know what, if the rest of the week you're a little bit scared to kind of ask those questions because you think they're a little bit too simple, uh, this is the show where you don't have to worry about that. Ask away all the questions you've ever wanted to ask. Get them in during this show because uh, towards the end of the show, as we always do, uh, we'll be over in Essentials Corner. We need to make use of the sofas, don't we? I mean, we barely barely use those now. So, uh, yeah, that's what we'll be doing at the end of the show. Uh, around about an hour and a half time. Um, any questions you want to fire at Sheena to do with anything you see on the show? Any crafty project that you're currently stuck on? Uh, any advice that you want? Maybe inspiration? Anything you've uh, always wanted to ask Sheena but never got? round to um, get those questions in and we'll have a good fun interactive time at the end of the show um, also don't forget it's national craft month so there is lots to be excited about as far as the website is concerned loads of great deals for you there um, as part of national craft month we've got loads of great shows uh, loads of launches coming up particularly next week there is a big launch coming tomorrow for you by the way um, tags like you have never seen before um, you're gonna love those but next week loads of launches and also on top of all of that great deals if you go to the website right now wherever you normally go .co.uk.com or .eu you will see a section uh, which is all about National Craft Month and there's a code for you as well so all of the um, uh, items which are there you pop into your basket and then you pop in this code you do need to pop into the code to get that extra 30% off it is NCM paper and as we discovered earlier on, there are some surprising items in that category as well. So do have a good shop, do have a good look. And anything that you see that we're not chatting about, let us know so we can let everybody else know. Um, it is beautiful beginnings, as I say. Uh, we have got loads of great demos coming up for you. You're going to be featuring the Cosmic Collection, Bella Luna tonight as well. And I know Sheena has got up her sleeve, something which a few of you were asking to see in the last show. We are ready to do in this. Uh, but what is that? We will find out very shortly. Let's welcome her back, though. What a fabulous first show. Have you an outfit change i have done an outfit change you yeah. know what it's because i wanted something a bit warmer on i was I'm pathetic I'm ah, a bit cold. not really a bit chilly yeah you're I looking am. very orange autumnal velma from scooby-doo back to velma right Scooby <laughs> <laughs> dooby doo um Thank you. We, uh, we're going to look at Cosmic, we're going to look at Bella Luna, and you, you're going to do the thing that we said, we aren't you? We are going to do the thing, yes. We have uh, prepared the thing. We're, we're doing it. Yeah. Bring it on. What, what, what's the thing? I hear you the cry. The thing well. is, we are faux leathering, people. Yes. Woo! It's an oldie but a goldie. Yeah, we're doing it. That's no, what we're going to kick off with. No word of a lie. Um, the lads, 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 we were sat in the cafe just uh, about half an hour or so ago and uh, Sheena came through and showed us the faux leather and we were all like, what? What? What is this wizardry? Very, <laughs> very Should we clever. show them now? Do you want to huh? see it? Do you want to see it now? Should we get, we I mean, not, not demonstrate it, just show you what it looks okay, like. Okay, go on, go on. Should you do it on the overhead? Or yeah, the overhead? here we go. Whichever. Look at that. That's leather, right? Faux leather. That's yeah, real leather. that's the faux leather. That is See incredible. It is? So if you can cover your workbook, your books with it, make a, a wrap around. I even made phone holders. I made an I, a, a tablet holder with it back in the day. So yeah, that's what we're going to be making. Looking forward to seeing that. Uh, anything else you want to see, anything you want to ask, feel free. We've got Linda on the socials already in his pack. Saying good afternoon again to Ben and Sheena, uh, social superstar of my crafting friends from Madreary, New Jersey. Looking forward to the show. Uh, Wendy Myers joins us and Kendall Serafian from Minnesota. Louise Catherine Ditch says good afternoon, everyone, from a sunny Sussex. Hello also to Jane Fullweber, who says, hello, my lovelies. I stopped watching a Chinese drama so that I don't miss Sheena and clan. Oh, well, fab, thank you. There'll be plenty of drama here with me and Ben. Absolutely, there, all, there always is a bit of drama. Jeffrey <laughs> uh, joins us from a sunny, warm 52F11C, New Hampshire. Uh, Shadai says, hello, my Lord Ben and Sheena. And Debbie Durrant says, howdy folks, this is gonna be cosmic. Oh, absolutely cosmic, yes. We are, um, I am that space cadet for this hour. It's like when planets collide. 
What was that song? It when na, na, when love and hate collide. What was that song? Oh, it looks well the movement. Ta, love and look, hate. Look, to a, um, it must be a new romantic band in the oh, 80s. I can see big hair. Yeah. Possibly a mullet. And I think. Oh, Def Leppard. Yeah, it? you're right. Was that? 1980s. Like, oh. When love and hate collide. I, see, I couldn't remember the song, but uh, yeah, 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 your dance. Yeah. It was like I've, I visualised it. <laughs> Uh, Jeffrey says, Ben, re what? Remember, you owe us dad's, a dad joke and a song and dance tune. Oh, only if you're feeling down in the dumps. I mean, you're, I mean if you're feeling down in the dumps, we'll do some more dad jokes, but uh, hopefully you're not. Let us know if you are. Uh, always happy to fire out the jokes. Anne says, Sheena is an alchemist. Oh. She She's a wizard, oh. Anne. Uh, Cindy says, look, lovely, now and then Sheena. Oh, that's very kind. Uh, and Sh uh, Crafty Angie joins us from California and Zoe Carver from West Sussex. Lovely. Shall we have a look at the Cosmic Collection? Um, we've got, well, different mini selections. We've got an Essentials, we've got a paper and card and an embellishment set. The Essentials Collection is basically all of your um, stamps and dies and embossing folders and stencils. This, by the way, if you love the embossed frames launch that we did, when was that, a week or so ago, very similar in style this, in the fact that you've got your um, embossing folder, which is then going to work alongside your die. Um, so you can cut out your shapes, pop it into your embossing folder to create a beautifully embossed die cut, or indeed, if you just want to use the um, embossing folder on its own, you can, but a really, really beautiful um, scene that you're going to create with that. This one is called your um, Planet Shaker, where you can create your own little shaker card. That, of course, most people would look at that and go there Saturn, but as we found out the other day, there are lots of different ringed, I knew you were going to say that. There's lots of different ringed planets as well, including the one that Jamie just said in my ear, which I'm not going to say because I'll start laughing and then you'll go, oh, you're so childish. This one is the uh, Cosmic Constellation. Is this the one that you use on your faux leather? It is, absolutely. Cosmic. Your faux leather works really well on just a regular embossing folder. Yeah. Um, I do love that 3D one as well, though. Really cool. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, this we'll see then in just a few moments' time, but you've got all the different constellations on there. Someone far cleverer than me will probably know a lot of the names of them. The only one I ever know is the plough. What did oh, you just I call me? I see Orion there and the Great Bear and the Little Bear, yeah. Oh. Um, is there a Little Bear? The plough. Yeah, I've got yeah, I've got them all. Yeah, I haven't really. No, I just uh, I'm just like saying names that uh, I've heard. <laughs> thought Patrick Moore would come into the studio there exactly. for a second. Wait, 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 Wow, we. Uh, then uh, let's go through. So you've got love is in the stars. So again, there's that beautiful um, sort of constellation heart there, stamp and die set. Over the moon, beautiful. This one uh, reminds me of the uh, Jaffa cake advert. Um, full moon, half moon, totally eclipse. But beautiful um, sentiment that you've got over the moon for you. And that is such a beautiful uh, stamp. Then you've got this one here, which is that um, orbit or the cosmic, what's it called? Yeah, the orbit collection. I always think this one, uh, it's because it's a circle, would work really well with the penny slider astronaut uh, stamp and die set that we had a little while back. So if you've got that, pair those together, that would look marvellous. Of course, we've got beautiful stars in here as well. So the superstar dies, just incredible for cards for all sorts of occasions. And again, I like the fact that you've got your smaller stars in there as well for your shaker elements and embellishments. This one's super cool as well, the Milky Way. Um, could be like a starry hat or a, a sort of star tornado, really. Like uh, a spell. A what? A spell. It well. could be a spell. Yeah. Yeah. Ex like a spelliamus. Ferreverto. What? Ferreverto. Yeah. What was that one from uh, uh, Harry but, Potter? Yeah. Oh. I'm not really. Oh. I mean, I am, but not. Yeah. Have you seen them all? Yes. Read them all. I've, I've actually queued up for a couple of books. Ah. I know. I still remember. Oh, here he goes. When the first book came out, I was working at a radio station in Exeter and I, uh, I was there on the night. We, we, we were like, covering it and I went yeah. out and did interviews with people and people were queuing at like yeah. Yeah, midnight to be the yeah. first into the store. W.H. Smith it was in Exeter um, to get that first book, yeah. Potter Fever. Yeah, well, absolutely. Well, I was training at the time and it was a couple of adults who were reading this kid's book. I thought, oh, there you are. And that's what, that's what got me into that. Yeah? Mm. And then I was hooked. 
What did you say for that one? Far Faravati. Faravetto. 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 And then you're also going to get um, sent uh, sentiment. stencils in here, that mystical moon um, alongside the beautiful mystical moon part two. So using these two together to create a wonderful effect. And then you've finally got the sentiments as well, which is the reach for the stars. Lots of different uh, uplifting sentiments for all sorts of different occasions. It is uh, stamps, dies, stencils, embossing folders and more for £56 or $70.40. Um, you've also got, if you want to stock up on the papers, that paper selection and you've got your embellishments too. If you've already got this, uh, it's going to be a great little um, sort of 20 minutes or so to sit in and watch and pick up some inspiration because from this set, you're going to be using the embossing folder to create the amazing phone leather effect, which uh, Sheena's about to show us. Far, 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 far arte. Oh, hey, absolutely, I like it. That, that's, yeah, I'm sure that's in one of the books, Ben. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. sure it is. Yeah. I'm sure it is, yeah. <laughs> the Italian the wizard. Like <laughs> so, <no>, Gina <laughs> de Campbell <laughs> and Hogwarts. Spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, Tagliatelli. <laughs> Fettuccini. <laughs> <laughs> Bless. Anywho, um, we're gonna we're gonna transform that into that. Uh -huh. So from that to that. Nice. So really wobbly, really floppy full leather. Right. So this is what you're gonna do. So you want the um, you know the craft cord that's like the not the Nina, not the not the thin stuff. You want the thick um, craft cord, the regu regular regular yeah. craft cord. Regular. Regular. And then we're gonna use one of our little spray bottles like this and what you're going to put in here is about that much glycerin okay. so about let me show you in the thing about one in um seven yeah one part that seven parts water would that mm -hmm. be about right if i say a centimeter centimeter of glycerin okay all right and then rest water and give it a shake all right so that's the first thing you're going to get your bouncing folder ready which is this lovely uh folder here and what you're going to do if we're going to wet this we're going to really be really generous which is why if you've got a larger spray bottle at home you could just mix them up bigger and these are more like for your little travel or to go in your like your craft you know kit to carry around with you so what i'm doing is i've started on the there's two sides of your your craft cord you'll find there's like a, a, a more flat side and then a more kind of like fibrous side yeah um you're going to get different effects with each side but i usually like to try and finish off with the more flat side at the top of the fall leather on the front side does that make sense mm -hmm. so what i'm doing is i'm just spraying this and i'm rubbing it into the surface of the cord because I, what i what it's doing is it's getting into the fibers and it's breaking up the fibers in the um in the craft cord um, it's um, attracting the moisture, it's softening it because remember we said the glycerin softens stuff as well and then it becomes, it looks, starts to look like yeah, a chamois leather, Yeah. doesn't it? You know, like when you're cleaning the car or whatever. And then what you want to do is make sure you've got it wet enough when you do that bit because you, if, you, if it's not, you'll tear your cord. So you just do that and then you're going to do a little bit more on each side. So you're really creating veins in your fall leather. I mean, it looks really cool, to be honest. Once, if you just inked it without a folder, it still looks good because it ends up where you've got all those, Ooh, when yeah. it flattens out, all the, the kind of the, the, the creases and things. It does look like leather. a chamois leather now, doesn't it? It does, yeah, absolutely. And that's where the, the kind of the colour it goes, isn't it? When yeah. it's like that. And then when it feels all fibrous and you can, and it's not resisting it and you can squidge it any way you want, but not tearing it, that's when, we're now ready. You don't want it dripping because you don't want it to water flooding out into your dry cutting machine. We're just going to take our two mats there, pop it in. And like I said, I like to have the, can you see there's that side looks lighter, that side's darker. I like the lighter side face up. Pop that in your folder. Now what you can do as well, if you want to make like a, um, a tablet holder or wrap around a larger book or, you know, the, um, the leather wraps you get with the elastic and you've got your loose like field notebooks inside. I want to make one of them. Mm -hmm. But um, I'll tell you how, how I'm going to do that. Remind me to say that, Ben, what I'm going to do to make that, because that's on my project list. Um, and so I'm going to pop that through the, um, the Gemini. And when this comes out, the next stage is to dry it. So you can see what usually happens is you'll get a little bit at the bottom where the water squidged out a bit, but it isn't running. That's about as much as you're going to get on your mat you don't want to have it so that it's any wetter than that yeah and if you're worried about that you can put a bit of cord in there as well you know a bit craft cord underneath and then run it through and that will just absorb into the cord 
So we'll pop that over there. The next thing is you're going to get your heat gun and you're going to dry it. OK, and if you if you want to make some overnight, you can do that and leave them and let them dry overnight. But I'm not going to continue with this one, but you'll, it does dry quite quickly. That bit at the bottom is the wettest bit. OK, so you just continue to dry like that. And then the good news is I've got one I did earlier. So you can see it's already drying. Mm -hmm. And then this is the one I did earlier and it's changed completely the feel of it to the craft cord. It feels much softer. It feels like, like a, something you're going to wash the car with. It feels like that. But that's what we wanted it to happen. We wanted to break down the fibres and, yeah. and, and um, mix it up a bit. So now we're going to take some of our, of our um, water reactive ink pads and think of the colour of like a tan leather. The thing that makes it interesting is that it's not just one flat colour. We've already got a great base cover colour in the um, craft cord. But what we're going to do is we're going to have areas where it's a little bit lighter and a bit more orangey. Then other bits where it looks like it's a bit worn. You know, when you think of antique leather, it's got bits where it's got a bit dirtier. or yeah. a bit, And that's what makes it look more fun and more um, authentic is to bring those bits out too. So I'm not worrying about an even application of each colour. I want it to look a bit patchy. Yeah, and but you can see how that's because the glycerin's already in here, it actually makes it easier to ink onto as well. Um, you know, craft cord is by nature quite absorbent, mm. um, and it's not easy to blend and ink across the surface of that. But because it does have that little bit of glycerin in this, um, it does help it blend a little bit better. So we've got a good, nice, warm kind of glow, more in areas and less in other areas there. And so the next thing is we'll go with a darker colour. So we'll use Friar Brown. So now it's going to be more of a kind of a tan kind of colour, less orange. It's already coming along, isn't it? This is incredible. Isn't it cool? Yeah. And so I'll tell you now what I did to make the, um, like if you want to make a wrap for a um, like field note, you know, like you have the leather wraps around them or if you want to make a little phone holder or if you want to, I was sewing little signatures and making little books with them mm. in the past. So what you would do is get some inexper inexper inexpensive um, cotton fabric, right? And your tacky glue and stick the fabric to your faux leather once on the opposite side. So it's all bonded and then it becomes really durable. And I made a, 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 a tablet cover and it wasn't a little tablet cover and I actually used it for about three months because I wanted to see how, how long it would last. Yeah. And, um, and in the back in the day, it, like, I've used it for three months with using craft cord and a bit of um, inexpensive cotton fabric I had found um, and glue and obviously stitched it together. Um, but can you see how that colour now is coming? It's much richer and, and coming out more with the different tones. And then we're going to the darker brown, but we don't want this all over again. We just want areas where it looks like um, you know, it's a little bit discoloured or it's, it's got a bit of like wear and tear or just a little bit dirtier in area in it bits as well. That's such a cool effect, honestly. Have I never seen this before? You haven't seen it before. It's no, a year since I've done it, Ben. Yeah. It's a year since I've done this. Um, I, think, I think Johnny might have remembered when I did it the first time. When I did this the All first time... All those years time, ago. It was like, it was many years ago, wasn't it? But it was like created a whole um, run on glycerin in the shops. You couldn't get it in the local chemists and things because we're like, wow, how cool. Because to make something that looks so cool out of a, a piece of card, and then you can make things with it. You can make little notebooks. And obviously, if you don't want to use leather, you've got that cool look without having to um, you know, go there as well. So the black now is going to make it look dirtier yeah. and a bit more aged and worn in places. And again, I don't, it's a little bit flat, so I'm trying to make it a little bit more um, you know, light and dark in areas. So now I can look at it and think, right, I want that. See how much more authentic that's looking there with some darker bits and lighter bits. Yeah. And then we're almost done. It's not, it's not a time consuming thing to do. It's not, it's not a difficult thing to do. Um, but it's really effective. So we'll lighten a few bits with that warmer tone in a couple of areas. And now what you do is you get your spray and shine, uh, dry it, dry it with a heat gun again. So yeah. give it a good dry. 
and then um well i'll do that and then we'll um, we'll come back and we'll spruce so you see what that one looks like how about that uh beth you've joined us from minna shota saying sunny with a high of 50 here i still can't compute what that is 50 oh 50 f yeah it's not that warm that is it that's not like we're c aren't we yeah um it's the beginning of march oh it's 10. Um, rarely happens this time of the year. Um, Barbara Air Arzen with us saying, can't miss this cosmic event. Um, and Hillary says, Ben, can you tell Holly Collie a dad joke? <laughs> she's been poorly today and it will cheer her up. Ah, so she's feeling a bit melancholy. Aww. That was the joke. What was it? That, Did I miss it? <laughs> Holly's a collie. And she's not feeling great, so I just said she's feeling a bit melancholy. Oh, melancholy Holly. Yeah. Nothing. No. Nope. It's a good one, yeah. Um, okay. Pat says I've got both of these collections, but I think I'm going to watch the show and take notes, then play with my toys. And hello also to Christy Mahoney, who's joined us. Uh, Laurie's also with us as well. Um, excited to see what Sheena does with this collection. Um, this is incredible. And for those of you that uh, wanted to see the uh, faux leather, here it is. What do we need to do next? Then? So what we're going to do is we're going to take some spray and shine. And this is better in like a box or a booth, but because you don't want it, you know, going where you don't want it to go. But this is going to... Um, seal it and you're better off if you can do two or three light coats but i'm doing heavy coat on this just so you can see what it looks like if it's super shiny um so it's up to you but do this in a well ventilated area as well because it is a little bit um smell on the smelly side and then that will go a little bit duller when it dries but it's up to you how um how shiny or you know not you have it at the end of the day but that's what this one was like yeah and it'll and you can see, um, and actually, I, I, um, I rubbed my hand over that a little bit earlier, and it went, it went a little bit more dull because it took the shine off it. That I can dry a little bit with a heat gun, which I can do now, and then we'll come back to that as well, Ben. Shall we do that? Yeah. Um, hi, to Rondu says, hello, Ben, Sheena, team, social, and all my crafty friends from Oak Park, Chicago. Um, and talking of constellations, I knew somebody would know. Jules says, Ben, if you look for Orion's belt, then look at eight o'clock, you'll see Big Dog, Canis Major. At nine o'clock is Little Dog, Canis Minor, or Canis, I suppose it would be. Uh, at 11 o'clock, you'll see the twins, Gemini. My only problem with that is, you need to find the Ryan's belt, first of all. Uh, that's, that's impressive. I didn't know about all of these. Big Dog, Little Dog, <laughs> cardboard box. <laughs> so uh, Zoe Carver says, oh no, we can't have a soggy bottom. Uh, and Cindy's getting excited about tomorrow. She says, those tags that we're launching tomorrow, she says, sold out so quickly on HSN. Uh, I'm so glad that they're going to be here tomorrow. We will be launching those officially at two? Yeah, two o'clock. So 9 a.m. Eastern, 6 a.m. Pacific, uh, right after a first look that we've got for you on uh, things like the Illusion film. So that's coming up. Uh, Cindy Conley says, ha, 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 melancholy. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and Pat says, I'm thinking about making photo books. I can make the books and let the people put their pictures in it. Uh, yeah, this would be perfect, like you say, for those sort of books and binders, wouldn't it? This technique. Well, oh, absolutely. Because I, um, I love to collect, you know, like um, pocket books and notebooks because I like to use like my fountain pens and things. And um, and in the back in the day, I was making like little books and sewing them together with little signatures like that. So all, you're going to get like cool looking little leather, looks like they're leather bound books uh, that you can mm. make as a little gift for people. Um, and it's craft card. So that there is your faux leather. That's the one we just made together. Um, and it just looks like a little leather, piece of leather wallet or wrap, don't That's you think? That's so clever. And once you break it down again and see how it's done, actually really, really achievable to do, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It's just such a, a fun thing to do. And um, and again, it's, it's, it's usable. It's good for, you know, men's gifts and things as well. Yeah, perfect. Ooh. Um, for those of you that are asking, you're welcome. You've just seen it. Um, Sherry Miller says, hello, beautiful Sheena. We are so happy to be watching. I was watching the last show and just figured out where you are. That's what Sherry says. Oh. Mm. <laughs> OK. Always working. <laughs> um, and Maria joins us as well, saying, hi, Ben, Sheena, and all the crew from a sunny Evesham. 
don't know what the weather's doing out here, actually. I've not been outside. It's just a bit grey <laughs> to sort of describe yeah, but most tell you days what. up here at the minute, isn't it? Maybe sunny in Evesham, but I'm betting there's a roaring fire going. Do you reckon? Oh, Ben. So we got the uh, a log fire in, but I can't stand the heat anymore. You oh. just want to put it on. And we, well, like, literally, that was at like to 28 degrees in the living room. <laughs> Eight degrees? <laughs> yeah, I think we might have lost a stone each just sitting in the living room for a minute. Turn the living room into a sauna. <laughs> it's like you want it, you want it to look pretty, but we haven't worked out how to do it so that it looks pretty, but it's a bit cooler. So it's like, yeah, windows open, and it's like, yeah, nice, nice. But I'm sure we'll, the, the novelty will uh, fade shortly. But. Um, and just before we move on, Mary Beth just saying, um, can you just recap on the colours that you used because yes. you just asked what the first red was and what type of ink pads they were yes they're the water reactive and they are i used um orange fryer brown uh seal brown and jet black or okay. um the other black no our black will do either yep. of the blacks is fine and um, so you're thinking and you could do a burgundy looking one as well you could use the a darker red and a red and you make it look like um you know red leather yeah just the same just put a little bit of brown and black in that as well Perfect. That's the fun of it. Perfect. Uh, I was going to ask, what does Willow think of the uh, 28 degrees? Oh, you know what? She's, she left. She's under the bed in the oh, spare room. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. She's like, oh, she hasn't been that active, funny enough, since we got the fire. <laughs> <laughs> Hot dog. Hot dog. <laughs> yeah. uh, Jan Gilk says, hi from Evesham. Hello. I'm oh, sorry, Jane, not Jan. Jane. Uh, hi from Evesham. I shall certainly be trying this, Sheena. It looks fab. Any other Evshamites who are watching, don't forget, uh, you can catch Sheena down at the store on the 23rd of March. So uh, if you want to yeah. um, meet the wizarding wonder that is Sheena, then make sure you pop on down. Um, if you want to get the papers and cardstock from this collection, it's available in another bundle for you too. So uh, just to show you, this is your um, pearl paper pad. 12 by 12, of course, 24 sheets you're going to get, uh, double-sided. And the reason why this is so incredible, obviously it's had a bit of um, titivation, as our Debbie Robinson would say, but the main images that you are getting here are actual pictures of um, the sky, of the universe. Um, so they are absolutely incredible. So, you, I mean, you're getting a, uh, a paper pad like no other. It is absolutely exceptional. You've got the uh, front and back design. I mean, that, I mean, how incredible is that and if you're needing a bit of a break from maybe your florals and your butterflies this really is the collection to go for and again we chatted um when we launched this too about being a great paper pad to go for for maybe uh, kids cards maybe for those more masculine cards as well and certainly when you just show the reverse of these two uh, you've got um you know even sort of less of that design on the back if you want a bit more of a sort of uh, muted kind of um color to play with but you're getting 24 sheets on that pearl uh, cardstock in the 12 by 12 you then get that again in your 6 by 6 on top of that we're then going to give you I mean and this is incredible your ombre glitter card pack I've forgotten about this if I can get it out <laughs> look at this 25 sheets you're getting in here you're getting um, five designs of um, or five of each of the five designs that you're getting in there it, and it's oh hello uh, yeah, yeah, and you're getting that encapsulated glitter that we bring to you, which I know you guys absolutely love to work with. But of course, with all of these, you're getting that beautiful sort of gradation of colours. The colours merge into each other, that ombre effect. That one's a bit like um, sort of rhubarb and custard. This one we've seen a bit more of a sort of, I don't know, sort of seaside mermaidial feel to it. Look at this one. I mean, look at all the colours that you're going to be receiving just there. And the final one um, is this one here. So all of those you're going to receive as far as your ombre glitter card is concerned five designs five of each a4 size that's not all because we're then also going to give you your uh, luxury uh, collection so you're getting 24 sheets of all of these beautiful mirror card you've got your um blues and that beautiful uh, fuchsia in there too you've also got silvers in there and again the reflective <laughs> oh yeah hello the reflectivity that you've got on our um, mirror card stock really is second to none. It is incredible. And then as we go through, look at all of that beautiful glitter card stock that you're getting in here as well. Love that silver. It's like um, sort of like a gunmetal silver that you're getting in there. So much sparkle, but of course, 
none of it's going to go everywhere because it's encapsulated. Absolute dream to work with, dream to die cut, um, dream if you want to kind of score this as well. Incredible, incredible glitter cardstock. 24 sheets of that. This is all for that amazing pr uh, price on the screen. On top of that, you're also going to get this one, which is your pearl paper pad. So six colors here, four sheets of each, all in beautiful complementary colors that will work absolutely wonderfully with your ombre glitter cardstock, with your mirror and glitter cardstock, which will work beautifully with the um, designed papers that you've got within this collection too. And if that wasn't enough for you for that price, why not have uh, your foil transfers? These come to you with all of the different designs. So you're getting six designs, okay, two of each. So you've got moons and stars. You've even got like the little um, Christmas star in there as well and those constellations. And you're also going to get included 12 sheets of your silver foil. So you can um, use that foil to create that sort of rub on effect. And if you've bought any of the other um, foil transfers that we've done recently, nothing to stop you from using the foils from those other collections um, on this set as well. £63.20 or 84 dollars is the price on that if you want to stock up if you've seen it for the first time i have no doubt it's probably all ready in your basket something else which needs to go in your basket and somebody was actually um asking about it on the comments just a few moments ago so we thought we would ship this one in it is this one someone's going what's that folder what's that folder that ben's got in the studio it's the layout collection this one we launched oh six weeks ago maybe something like that it was so so super popular the i think best way for you if you are someone who wants to kind of get into um making cards uh, a, a great way to be able to do it because I think one of the problems maybe when you're starting off is deciding how you're going to kind of put your cards together how you're going to lay them out what goes where this brilliant idea takes away all of that hassle for you because you're going to get your um, lever arch folder here inside it you're going to get 30 recipe cards these recipe cards give you 30 different layouts and that's the important point here that Craig will tell you about that little bit there underneath my finger the sketch that sketch there shows you how to lay out your card. So the 30 different designs on here. And when you follow this kind of step-by-step, point-by-point initially, you will make the card that you're seeing in the photograph there, and you'll make the card to the size that's written on the back. However, once you become more accustomed to this and you become more confident with your card making, you'll be able to take that sketch and upsize it and downsize it and then maybe think about bringing in other elements that aren't within this kit you know stamps and maybe papers that you want to start working with to create slightly different cards or indeed you know you see like a, uh, a card like this you might decide that you want to kind of just change it up ever so slightly the point is if you lack confidence when it comes to kind of putting cards together this is a great confidence sort of builder for you i've had a play with this as you guys know um if you've if you've watched the little show that i've done uh, made this card but funnily enough made it with the cosmic collection because that's the the brilliant thing you can bring in your own papers bring in your own stamps and dies and use this as your kind of starting point but it kind of holds your hand as you go along because everything is detailed on the reverse of these cards step by step by step and the genius about this system with the 30 projects that you're going to get within your folder everything that you see within that is um, included because you're going to get all of your papers in there um, uh, eight by eight printed papers you're going to get your linen card in there you're going to get all of your ribbon included in there too so um, nine lots of ribbon three different sizes uh, three of each you're going to get all of your um, gems in there as well all in matching colors um, have I got I didn't get it out earlier on but you do I'll show you the papers in just a second but you're going to get um, all of those papers included 24 um, printed designs 24 sheets of your linen cardstock all of these stamps included as well. So lots of stamps for all sorts of different occasions from flowers to um, you know, champagne for celebrations to um, cakes. It's all there for you. Those are your beautiful stamps. But then you also get all of your sentiments included in there too. So sentiments for all sorts of different occasions. Um, just some, some generic ones in there as well when you just want to send cards just because. You're going to get three embossing folders. This one is a 2D embossing folder. Uh, five by five with a beautiful floral theme to it. You're going to get your... Uh, 
five by seven embossing folder, which is all about the butterflies. Then you've got a stunning 3D embossing folder, which is that beautiful um, blooming flowers. It's called blooming flowers. Then you get all. <laughs> then you get all of your dies. So you've got oval nesting dies in here. Each one comes with that scalloped uh, outer die too. You've got your circle dies, slightly bigger ones, slightly smaller ones, and all of these dies will be the ones that you use because they will correspond to the instructions that you've got within your recipe cards. Big squares small squares. You've then got some of our beautiful nesting frame dies in here as well. One set, two sets of those, that beautiful decorative uh, frame here. Then you're going to get some border dies. These are really cool because they're going to be able to create like a little ripple effect on your projects. Love that torn effect as well, uh, which you're going to be able to achieve. You're getting nesting tag dies. Again, if you're uh, wanting to get some of the best nesting uh, or best tags, I should say, um, make sure you join us tomorrow for a launch of, I think, the best set of tag dies we've ever done. You're also going to get banner dies in here and alongside all of that you are going to get your decorative embellishment dies as well so the triangle the star the heart the flowers that is all included you get your folder you get your recipe cards you get your magnetic panels to store your dies in your folder you get stamp panels included in there as well to be able to pop all of your stamps onto and then are there papers in it? yeah they are i should have got these out a little bit earlier on for you but you're then going to get all of your papers in here too so you're going to get just take it out ben go on go on Good one. So you've got all of your linen cardstock in here, 24 sheets of linen cardstock. I mean, this is insane value for money. And if you're looking at that price at 63.99 or 79.99 and going, this is incredible. I've got another thing to tell you before we go to a quick break. 24 sheets there, and you're also going to get 24 sheets of your um, pattern papers as well. Single-sided, which I think, again, is quite nice in a way because uh, you're then not having to kind of choose. But all of these beautiful floral papers that will match up exceptionally well with the linen cardstock that you've got within this set. And again, all of these papers feature within the recipe cards that you've got within this collection. 63.99 or 79.99 is a deal, but go on, Jamie, go on. You're gonna be able to use your code. NC, I know, NCM paper, I don't know, this is one that slipped through the net, it has to be. Um, you can use that code, uh, NCM paper, 30% off, which will take you down to 44.79 wow. or 55.99. What? I know. What? But, Look at the saving already. I know. I mean I, I mean, I literally haven't seen this set before today. And I was just absolutely like, you know, jaw dropped looking at everything that's in there. Because if you know somebody who's new, especially, uh -huh. it's all, how perfect to have the layout and everything. Because once you've figured that layout, you can use those layouts for everything else that you've got in your craft stash or that you're going to add to it yeah. as you go on as well. I think if you've That's decided really this amazing. year is the year you're going to start making cards, you've come along at a brilliant time because I've never seen anything quite like this. I haven't like seen this. anything like that. And mm. there's a lot of work and a lot of thinking and, and organising and yeah. uh, to go in that. That is, that's huge. That represents a, a lot of work, that, that kit. But wow. That's and why you don't see them every five minutes. And just, I'll, I'll quickly rattle through this, just again, to get in your mind, when you think about that price, 55, uh, sorry, 44 pounds, isn't it? $55 there or thereabouts, if you use that code. 48 dies, you're getting 39 stamps, you're getting your 30 recipe cards, you've got the binder, you've got two storage panels for your dies, two storage panels for your stamps, three embossing folders, 24 sheets of printed papers, 24 sheets of linen card, nine lots of satin ribbon, and 100 gems. Bonkers value, that price is amazing, this price is great, that price is like, phew. when you add that onto that, you're like, what? That's why it's been the hottest seller of uh, the day so far. You will need, though, to make sure you put in that code as well, um, because it doesn't automatically come off for you. So NCM paper, and as we said, the genius is, you've got all of the information there, and once you've mastered each and every one of those designs you can upscale and downscale your, uh, your sketch to create projects well of all sizes get this whilst you can because um, I think a lot of people have kind of twigged to what a great deal that is there's loads of other great deals in and amongst your uh, paper craft section and keep firing the questions in as well uh, in around about mm, 50 minutes time or so we have got our essentials corner we need your questions otherwise well I don't know what we'll be doing to be honest with you so uh, yeah get the questions in uh, we'll answer those for you um, but in the meantime get to the checkout and we'll see you the other side of this finding more out about Craig
my name's Craig Laird. I work at Crafters Companion. I am a craft expert where I get to play with lots of crafty goodies from Crafters Companion and hopefully we're here to inspire you with lots of crafty things that you can do. So my crafting journey, that started many, many years ago, actually just over 20 years ago. I actually came across crafting on uh, UK Shopping TV. I, uh, I was unwell at the time and I was just channel surfing, just uh, having a look to see what was on TV and then I came across who has now become my friend Dawn Bibby and I thought, oh, quite like that bit of crafting that she's doing. I purchased some crafty goodies and before you know it, here I am, all these years later, uh, doing what I'm doing with Crafters Companion. So believe it or not, none of my family or friends are actually very creative. So the creative side in me has actually just progressed naturally. As I have progressed, I've become really good friends with many craft experts out there in the industry and they're the ones that inspire me. Then coming to Crafters Companion, Crafters TV and interacting with all the crafters at home, seeing what they make. I am a huge, huge advocate for social media because you get to see lots of things that everyone makes at home and that does inspire me as well. Many years ago, before I started here at Crafters Companion, believe it or not, I didn't have a lot of confidence. I didn't go out a lot, I didn't do much. Now, with Crafters Companion and Crafters TV it's given me so much confidence self-belief my biggest crafting success I'm gonna to have to pick two one of them is appearing on HSN America I was really really lucky a couple of years ago to actually go to Florida with Sarah to see how it all works behind the scenes an incredible juggernaut that they shop on TV as at HSN that for me is an incredible proud moment I will never ever forget when all of you incredible crafters at home uh, voted enough for me to be in the running of the 2021 Male Craft Personality of the Year was such a humbling feeling. I was so, so proud. I was so grateful. Our Crafter TV audience are absolutely incredible. For me personally, it is personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers and the support that I get. So many people are in the same situation as me health-wise, but if you just want that interaction, you just want to have that chat away about anything random in life on a social media, on a crafters TV, you know that you're going to get that support, you're going to get that understanding when it comes to the crafters at home. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Because Ben, I've sent a photo to the studio Oh, welcome back, everybody. <laughs> welcome back, everybody. Sorry. Uh, Jewel says, Ben, sent you a photo to the studio so you can find Orion and the other constellations that I mentioned. I hope your team will show it. Well, they'll have to now, won't they? <laughs> They're on it. Wasn't that the thing? What am I thinking of? Someone help me here. What was, wasn't that, mo what was the movie? The, the answer is in Orion's belt. Uh, and it, no. And what, there wasn't it like, rings a bell. There was a cat. That, and, the, and Men in Black. Men in and Black, the cat that's right. Had it on its collar, didn't it? Absolutely. The universe. But, but yes. Yeah. Cause the, oh, yes. We, we, oh, you should have heard the conversation we were having the other day. Me, Johnny, and Jake, just very kind of, um, what's the word? Like conspiracy theory? Anyway. 
The truth is out there, Johnny. The truth but is out there. Deep and philosophical. Where does the you get him here? Johnny's going, where does the universe end? Does it keep going and going and going? Are th is there other life forms out there? <laughs> Do they work Monday to Friday? Is there like an alien crafters TV? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in the, other, in the other galaxy, they work the two days, don't they? And have Monday to Friday off. Oh, dear. Um, Hillary says, I love the layout collection. I use it as a rough guide for ideas. Um, it's well worth the full price. Yeah, Hillary, it is. And uh, like, well, you've seen, I've played with it. It's, br it's brilliant for newbies as well. Just the best thing. Love the layout collection, says Jessica. Using some layouts of scrapbooking, because of course, again, you can upsize. Uh, Gaz says, I bought the layout at launch. Not only am I jealous of anyone who gets it today, uh, it has saved me and my mojo multiple times. Uh, Rhonda says, how long is that code good till? I want to say that's the end of the week. I think maybe till Friday. We'll double, double check for you because we had a different code last week. I think we're doing a different one or a different thing each week. It ends at 11.59 on the 10th, which is Sunday, isn't it? So you've got until the end of Sunday. And it is multi-use as well, just to let you know. I don't mind telling you that. Uh, usual T's and C's, all that malarkey. Um, but yeah, it is multiple use. As I said, if you're not sure, just enter it at checkout, and if it will work, it will work. Pat says, I was looking at my layout collection for a few projects too, including scrapbooking pages. Um, and Hillary says, love the layout collection. I use it as a guide, and then I put my own stamp on them. Uh, my cards have been well admired. Thank you, everybody, for those lovely testimonials, and it's great to hear that you're getting so much out of your layout collection. We're going to stick with the Cosmic Collection paper and card, because I know that has been very, very busy, and the Cosmic Collection, generally, you guys have absolutely loved. And I think so many of you bought this at launch too it's quite nice in these shows to be able to um, you know, inspire you a little bit more and give you more information because that's what it's about Sheena isn't it as much as people might already have this we want to make sure that they get the best out of these collections. absolutely because you know what the good thing is this is my first time playing with this collection and yeah. I haven't seen the previous shows I've been drawing so uh, I'm coming to it from com with completely fresh eyes yeah. so um, and I'm loving what I'm seeing I'm loving these samples Great, um, shall I show you a few oh yeah yeah I think this is just absolutely fabulous i yeah. love that that is super cool i love the fact that it's um on the acetate and all that detail there but you haven't had to worry about it bit of ink and you're, and you're good to go i yeah. love that it doesn't it looks like it's um so effective but doable i really like that Ooh, that's also cool. the other thing i want to play with is um i know it will go with bella luna as well so i think we need to absolutely have a bit play with there uh, with the bella mm. luna Oh, I love the, the Sorry, I just missed that. It's the, this is the shaker as well, isn't it? Little oh. shaker card. Shaker card, yeah. yeah. Shaker card. So good. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? It reminds me of, um, you know, that Lost in Space with the robot. You know, the old <gasps> 60s one. Oh, yeah. It looks like a like 60s kind of like um, B-movie kind of imagery. You know, woo with the fit Yeah. Station. It reminds me of that. What was the, what was the one with them? Biddy, 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 biddy. Um, the robot. Yeah, I can't remember that one. Biddy, biddy, biddy. That wasn't lost in space, was it? I don't remember that one. Someone will tell us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can't. Thank you, Google that beady, one. beady, 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 beady. That beady, 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 beady. Someone will know. How cool is that? Look yeah. at it. These are really oh, that one, so that cosmic. That one's incorporated that, um, the, the, swoosh, the sushi the stamp. Swoosh, that's the, it. Look. That's so clever. Fabulous, isn't it? Yeah. So on these papers, you can absolutely stamp and emboss. You'll not be able to ink on them. It's a different surface. But for stamping and embossing and on those foil transfers as well, mm. absolutely perfect. Love that. I just love that design. I think that's, that's the one we're going to have a play with as well now. Can you tell? I really, I got my eye on it. And I was like, I want to play with that. But isn't that what crafting should be about? Isn't doesn't that what crafting should do for you? Yeah. Inspire you to want to have a play with it. If it doesn't, then we're not getting it right, are no, we? No, exactly. You know, um, yeah, really cool. Ooh, look the at papers that. are stunning. Oh, look at this one. Look at that. Mystical moon. Liking Ooh. that with the cutouts and then the paper behind. Um, I think the fact that you've got papers, you've got. Um, you know you can make it as quick and simple as you want which is what i'm going to do with this one i'm going to do mm. a quicker version and i'm going to do a, a little bit longer uh to achieve the version so Beautiful. hopefully that's given you some ideas of some fabulous um samples there yeah and then i'll show you what it, it was just the one that that caught my eye that one i just think it's really cool and i apologize if you've seen this one before because it's new to me so you never know every even if you've seen something before um 
people have a different twist on them. Exactly right, they? yeah. You know, so, so right, so the first thing is the background with this 3D um, embossing folder. Um, the first, if I want to do the longer version, I can do what I've done here and run this through the, um, the Gemini. But look at that. If you can see that level of detail and that level of, um, of different um, gradients in that embossing mm. on white card, that is phenomenal. You know it's a good embossing folder. <laughs> that is amazing. Sorry. Yeah. I said, you know, it's a good embossing oh, folder exactly when you get an embossed then. like that. So the other option, though, is to go with the papers in the large pad, yeah? And um, looking through all of these, obviously, that any colour would work for this. Oh. But I just picked out one sheet and I've trimmed it down. So I've got a couple ready to go. And that's what I'm going to run through for the background on this one. So um, I'm going to pop that through there. So we've got two options. We've got the quicker version and then the one that's slightly um, a little bit more time to um, run through version. So we'll pop that through and <laughs> then um, and then we'll go to the die cutting bit and the colouring bit because I've got I've got the colours I've chosen here that um, and I think the inspiration on the packaging is fabulous as well. So if you're stuck on where yeah. to start, remember you've got that fabulous inspiration there as well. So we've got that there we can use as an alternative with the papers. Um, so now I need to cut, put this through again because what I am going to do is I'm going to cut this out with the die um, that is in the set. So what you get is you get the outline die like this. So I'm going to cut this out of my watercolour card because what I want to use is um, inks. And I'm going to want to, um, you know, basically um, have the inks work really nicely over the surface of that. Um, so let me pop that through again. Um, just to say, that people chatting robots now. De uh, Deborah Durant, was that Metal Mickey? It wasn't Metal Mickey. Biddy, 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 biddy. Metal Mickey was, uh, he's a lot of fun. He's a lot of fun. He weighs half a was. ton. Huh? I wonder if that was the robot in that um, Lost in Space. Well, Pat says, was it the robot from the Jetsons? It wasn't, it was. It oh, wasn't. I love the Jetsons. Me, George Jetson. Oh, it was brilliant, wasn't it? I don't know if I really now, remember the that, the cartoon. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it was like 60s like cartoon. Oh, like Flint, a bit like the Flintstones. Um, yeah, but they're in Flintstones space. Flintstones in space. In space. Oh, there's a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Yabba Dabba Cosmic. Yabba Dabba Cosmic. <laughs> so oh. I'm going to put this through again, Ben. <laughs> Make sure I've got it round the right way. Have I got that? Oh, I can never remember. Right, so that's the... Yeah, well, anyway, it only goes one way, so... Great cartoon, yeah. terrible movie, though, wasn't it? Because they, they made a movie out of it, didn't they? Had John they, Goodman and um, Rick Moranis. Yes, they did, yeah. It wasn't great. No, absolutely not. <sighs> right, so that's going through again. And we'll pop that through. Like that. Bear with. Bear with, Paula. Buck Rogers, it's just come to Buck me. Buck Rogers, oh, okay. Buck Rogers in the 21st century. Beady, 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 beady. That was the robot. And what was he? I think he was, he was called Tweak, Tweaky or something. Tweaky? I've, do you look that up? I've seen, I think, that I think was he was called Tweaky. In America, Twinkies were cakes in America. No, not Twink, Tweaky. I'm thinking it was called uh, Tweaky. Tweaky. Beady, 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 beady. Okay. T W I K I, Twicky. There you go. It was in there somewhere. Hey, got there. Johnny's just got it. looks well Yay. scary. So you can see quick option. You can pop that on there. You've got the background. And I'll tell you what else you can do because I found it with this paper. If you had a sanding block, I would go ahead and sand these bits here. I haven't got a sanding block because it's got a white core. So this would bring all the detail in the background, background areas out as well. Yeah. So that was another, that's another little tip. But that's the, the first option. But what we're going to do is we're going to um, ink up this one as well and do it. So I'm going to ink up the background yeah. and I'm going to choose um, just some pretty kind of glowy kind of colours. I'm going to probably go with um, Honey Pot, with Fuchsia, back to the... Yes. Maybe a bit of Lagoon and Midnight. And let me just change my little blending um, tools here. And the thing is as well, if you want to make this a little bit quicker, you can always used to use a little bit of the, the glycerin as well. Let's see how we're... How we're getting on with this so um the, the thing is is um you're going to pick up all that gorgeous detail as well with the three i just think these are just absolutely fabulous photos really important 
guys, what paper you use. Definitely use. Um, my go-to for everything, anything water-based, is the um, watercolour card. Yeah. It just, I just know it works, and so I stick with it. If it isn't broken, don't fix it. That's it. So that would be my recommendation. So I'm going with this. So what we'll do is we might not get the background. Um, we'll just maybe just get the background done, um, and then we'll continue after the break, if that's all right. Yeah. So can you see how we've got by mixing a bit of the um, the orange, the sorry, the honey pot in with the pink, we've now got another cool colour going on in the background. And then I'm going to go to the more cool colours here. So what a, what big tip I would give you is look at the colours in the papers have the papers because the papers have all been worked out by the fabulous designers that um you know they go together you know that they work for that cosmic look so you may as well use that as your starting point when you're picking up colors to color in other elements in the kit because you know they're going to go so um you know don't make it more difficult for yourself can you see how those are just working so well i think together and then we'll end up with the dark blue at the bottom um, before we'll then get to colour the main item on the top. but So working from lighter at the top corner yeah. to darker to the bottom right corner, um, you've got a really excellent base there for your 3D image that you're going to put over the top of that. I'm not going to make a card with it, I'm just going to show you how you know I would um, go for the, the main element, um, how I would colour it, if that makes sense there yeah because you know you know how you can stick a card together but i thought we're best off just showing you how i would ink it and without any this is like literally without the aid of a safety net first time in with this stamp thing um, and i think i'm i'm happy with that and so yeah, what you can really do is good. once you've got it if you want to reinforce the colors if you want to strengthen them there ben once you've got that first base layer down when you go over again you'll find that the ink just slides over the surface much easier because it's already got a coat in there and um, it's not as, it isn't as grippy with the um, colour. Right, we're good. We're ready then to move on to the next stage. Perfect. Uh, we shall do that in just a few moments' time. Uh, thank you, everyone, for the lovely comments. Uh, Cheryl says, ooh, Buck Rogers in the 25th century, not 21st. Uh, good show. Um, and Deborah Durant says, less metal, more fluffy with attitude. I used to love watching ALF. Remember ALF? Yeah. yeah. What did that stand for? Alien, Alien life, form. life form. form. Yeah. Is that what it was? That was it, yeah. Okay. Alien life form. Ah, I didn't even know that. I made it up right then. Did you actually? Yeah, made it up. Incredible. Uh, Dawn says, love Mosby's makes. Love the interviews too. More shows coming very soon on that front. So um, look out for those. And um, also, I, I just here, we've got a few questions already lined up for Essentials Corner, which is coming up in just over half an hour's time. But if you want to send in any questions, feel free to. We are going to be over there. I know questions tend to kind of come in as we go, but if you want to get yours to the front of the pile, uh, then get your question in now. Anything you want to ask Sheena, maybe you want her to recap on things like that faux leather technique, maybe you want her to chat about um, her collections, maybe you want to chat to Sheena, uh, Sheena? Chat to, uh, Sheena about her um, thought process when she's designing all of these amazing um, items. Whatever it is, get those questions in and we will ask them to Sheena over the course of that um, sort of 20 minutes, half an hour. And uh, don't forget, make sure you're checking out all of these deals. Lots for you over on the website as part of National Craft Month, um, which rolls through right this week with that code of NCM paper. That will get you 30% off a select uh, amount of items for you on the website. And it's worth having a good look through there, actually, because um, there are some absolute gems, as we highlighted um, in this hour with that layout collection, which I know lots of you have jumped in and bought. If you've not yet got it, as much as there are some great deals on this show, that has got to be probably the deal of the day. Uh, get it whilst we've got it and get it at that price with the code as well because it is not going to be uh, hanging around. Uh, but don't forget, there are loads and loads of other great deals for you on the website right there. Um, as far as National Craft Month is concerned, and stick with us right throughout the uh, month because we've got brand new launches for you uh, and brand new codes coming your way as we head through the month of March. 
Welcome. If you have just joined us, we're halfway through a beautiful beginnings, a show where we do sort of take things back to basics just a little bit. We'll also, as I mentioned, open up the floor for uh, those newbies who maybe have got a question they want to ask, which perhaps maybe they don't feel comfortable asking in any other show. I mean, you should never feel like that, but this is the show to uh, get those questions in. And also, if you're an, a more inexperienced crafter and you just need a bit of a refresher on something, you can ask during this show as well. Um, just when we left you a few moments ago, we've been working with that amazing Cosmic collection. We've got the, if you check the shop the day, shop the show, you'll find the Essentials collection, which is all of your dyes and your stamps and your uh, stencils, all that kind of thing. We've got the Embellishments collection for you as well, but we've just been concentrating on the um, paper collection, which has got your 12 by 12, 6 by 6. It's got um, all of that gorgeous cardstock in there for you as well. So check it out. Pretty much the whole of that collection just popped down into into three uh, different um, collections for you. Right, shall we get on back over to Sheena, um, back to the demo. Where were we, Sheena? Well, we created that background and I just went over the little bit more ink. I'm just wiping this counter down because I want to start with some fresh colors. And that's the background we've got with just that watercolor card and the ink. And it already looks pretty cool, I reckon. Um, you can put a little bit of sparkle on there if you want as well, or we can leave the sparkle for this bit that's going to go on top. You know, even just the white over that colour, I think, looks amazing. But, so there's a couple of ways we can tackle this, right? There's a few couple of ways we can start colouring this in. If you want to be um, kind of efficient and quite quick with it, I would try blending on some of the larger areas with your blending tool okay. and then colouring in, if that makes sense, okay? So, for example, if we want to go with this yellow, we can do some of these little elements and what will happen is you're just picking up the, um, the raised areas which brings out the detail better than if you painted it on. If you paint it on, it's going to go in all the little nook nooks and crannies as well, whereas if you use this effect, this technique, you're just picking up the, all that... Um, that raised um, detail, which is exactly what you kind of want, really. Yeah. And I'm going to just continue like this around here. Um, if you use the little, like the sponge ones, you know, try whichever ones you find easier to control, because you might find it easier to get into the little bits without catching bits you don't want to catch by using the little sponge ones as well. Beautiful. Um, thank you, Ruth, for seeing your message. It says, hi, Ben and Sheena. Ben, I've sent in my two finished cards uh, that I mentioned at one. We're going to have a look at a picture in a minute from Jules, I think. So I'll have a look at those, uh, Ruth, if we see your uh, email. And hi to Amber Rays, who says, good morning on this beautiful Thursday. Sending lots of love from Tucson, Arizona. Hey, lovely. Oh, well, you know, I've been obsessed with um, Alaska recently. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I watched a thing with the um, Mississippi the other day. Mississippi? I want to go there now as well, yeah. What's that? The river, you know, the Mississippi. I know what the Mississippi is, but yeah, what's it the... Was on, um, it was on um, Channel... Maybe it was Channel 5 or something. Ah. And um, it was really good. It was um, Nick Knowles, I think it was Nick Knowles, is it? Oh, right. And um, it was really... I really enjoyed that. It was really cool. Um, so, yes, yeah, so now I want to go there as well. I mean, you know, I lived in California. Yeah. And there's places I didn't get to there where I should have really, I wanted to get to. Um, but, um, yeah, didn't get to San Francisco on the West Coast. Oh, I went to San Fran on my uh, honeymoon. Oh, lovely. It's incredible. Fab. What a place. Um, yeah, so look, so basically, right, what I've got here, it's up to you how much or oh, how little wow, you want to colour. But I think that works by just blending it over with a blending tool. Um, you don't have to make it any more tricky than that, really, do you? I think, uh, yeah. I think that does it. So I would just stick that down, mat and layer it, three D this, so that you've got a bit of, um, you know, a bit of dimension with it, and um, and you could as well, if you wanted, use your sparkle pen, uh, your, your sparkle overlay, and add a little bit of um, blink to it if you want here and there as well, um, and then just in bits. And then that just adds a little bit more interest to that. And if, what you'll find is if you use your sparkle pen, you will blend a little bit of that ink, but that's okay. You can just make it work for you by just using little circle kind of movements like that mm. and clean it off if you're going to use the, um, the same pen on your other, um, on your lighter areas. But yeah, that I think would um, works 
great. So for my first card with that embossing folder, I would be happy with that. Cool, yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Love that. Um, great demo. You can pick up all of the elements as far as your dies and your stamps and your embossing folders are concerned. A lot of people just going for that cosmic collection as well as far as the papers are concerned. I'll just quickly show you this again, but look, I mean, the, the paper and cardstock is gorgeous. Um, I know, Jules, we've got your picture that you sent in. We'll have a look at that in just a bit about the, um, the constellation. Excited to see that, but this is all about those beautiful constellations and real photographs as well, don't forget, that we've just sort of zhuzhed up a little bit um, with some crafty bits and pieces, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous um, card pad on that beautiful pearl card. Uh, and like I said, you know what, if you are looking for a, something a little bit different uh, away from your flowers and away from your butterflies, this is something which truly is out of this world. See what I did there? You've then got your ombre glitter pad, or ombre glitter card, I should say. Five designs, five sheets of each. Again, just incredible. The ombre colors that you've got here, sensational. And you're getting five different designs with five colors of each. All, of course, encapsulated for you so that glitter is not going to get all over the place. So you get all of the kind of, you know, show, but without any of the fuss and the faff of glitter getting everywhere. Die cuts and scores like a dream. You get the um, six by six pad, which, of course, is a smaller version of the 12 by 12. You're also going to get your foil transfers. Uh, eight by eight in size of these, you get six designs, two of each. Um, includes 12 sheets of your silver foil uh, to be using with those as well. Uh, and then you're going to get two more 12 by 12 pay pads. This is a Again, where the value really is you think about collections that we've done previously where you get like one 12 by 12 pad you get three in here this one is all of your beautiful uh, block colors to work with the stunning pattern cardstock that you've got in there and of course your ombre uh, glitter cardstock and then on top of all of that you've got your mirror and glitter cardstock in 12 by 12 form too and again this is incredible look at all of the beautiful colors that you've got as far as your mirror card stock is concerned so you've got that blue you've got that beautiful sort of uh, fuchsia in there as well the silver is um, uber reflective and then all the colors of the glitter card not so very often do we do our glitter card stock in 12 by 12 but you've got it in those three different colors in this uh, 12 by 12 pad, £63.20 or $84 for all of that. And again, if you want to pick and choose, uh, uh, available for you individually, um, all items from the Cosmic Collection, but look, a great way to be able to stock up on your cardstock from that collection. Uh, keep the questions coming in. Looking forward to answering those in just a little while for you. Thank you also for the comments that are flying through. Um, Lots of love coming in for that last project, Sheena, by the way. Oh, lovely. Thank you. Um, and Pat says, I want to send out a sincere and big thank you to the camera crew. Mm. You are all amazing. That's just Jamie. Fabulous. They're all robots. They're like that. Beady, 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 beady. <laughs> How many cameras have we got? One, two, five, ten, six, three, four. Oh, no, that's not my camera. <laughs> That's really weird how we go one, two, five. One, two, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, ten. Oh, and whatever that one is. One, two, three, that's nine. What's that one above Sheena? Seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, nine. It's got not, I think nine in here, or eight in here, two in the other studio. I don't know. But anyway, it's Jamie's the camera crew tonight because it's all robots it's all high tech in here i tell you what the presenters will be robots soon Can you imagine welcome to the show uh wendy says i adore the vibrant colors they are so me um and thank you to marie she says ben i sent in a special pick of a card gifted to sheena this week from a cc fan please show it because it's fab what was that sorry uh i've just sent in a special pick of a card gifted to sheena this week from a CC fan. Please show it because it's fab. Oh, okay. Maria. I'm watching. Okay. They're waiting to receive it, I think. Okay. Oh, Johnny's got it. He's on the case. We'll add it to our gallery, which we'll see in a second. Midi time. It's midi time. <laughs> Incredible. The uh, Gemini Midi, you guys know me, favorite machine. Um, one that I love to work with. It is um, just 
I mean, it's a brilliant machine. It's a brilliant manual machine. And you know what? I've seen a few of these over the years because you guys probably know I've been in the world of craft for um, a fairly long time, um, seen other um, die cutting machines and without sort of, you know, naming names. This is the best one as far as I'm concerned. You know, for manual machines, you've got a really good size on that. So your uh, folder size, of course, is six by nine. So you can pop all of your uh, all of your dies through there nice and easily. Um, and it takes the majority of your dies as well, which is the brilliant thing. Um, it's totally portable. It's kind of lightweight, but you can feel like the, it's, a, it's a robust bit of kit. So you can feel like, almost like feel the gears in there and feel how that's going to work to give you that amazing precise cut each and every time you want to use it. Great for doing your embossing as well. And as I say, totally portable, easy to carry around. Plates are included. Or I say plates. You get a folder, which is where you're going to be popping all of your dies. You get your um, shim. Used to be purple, but with the new Raspberry one, it's a, um, um, a see-through shim. What's the word I'm looking for? Clear, thank you. Uh, a clear shim, so you're gonna be popping that in with your 2D embossing folders. 3D embossing folders just go straight through, and then you've also got your um, folder there for all of your dies. Great machine to start with if you're just uh, getting started in the world of craft. Um, if you've already got an electronic machine, nice to have a manual machine to go alongside it as well. Um, and the brilliant thing about picking up the MIDI today for 20, well, say for 24 hours, up until the end of play today, you're getting a 25% discount. £41.99 is the platinum price or $65.99. Incredible value for money. This is the usual price. Take off your 25% um, and you'll still get your 20% discount as far as your uh, platinum is concerned too. So £41.99, £65.99. This will be available for you tomorrow, but it won't be the price. It will be back up to where it should normally be. Um, thank you for sending in all these pictures. Jules, I've been looking forward to seeing this one because this has got the um, constellations on it, hasn't it? Let's have a look. So there's, oh, there's Orion's belt. Oh, okay, so Ca um, Canis Minor. Oh, Canis Major. Monos Monocerus. Lepus, Columba, and then you've got your Gemini and Taurus. All right, I might have to print that one off, so next time I gaze into the night sky, I know what I'm looking at. But thank you, Jules, that was very, very interesting. Gaz, <laughs> look what he's done <laughs> to you here, Sheena. I love this one, how yes. cool is that? Yeah, canny, yeah, I love it. Looking very sass, what does it say? Um, I colour in. I colour in canny, sometimes I stay in the lines. Gaz, you naughty. Yeah, that's that's brilliant, isn't it? Brilliant. Yeah, excellent. That's like, that's me in a car there, isn't it? It's yeah. fabulous. Yeah, apart from like, you know, the little kind of like uh, jaunty little, you know, version of me. But yeah, absolutely. That's definitely you. That's definitely me. Yeah. Cool, well, isn't it? Great card, guys. Thank you. And uh, again, I know I posted for you, but thank you for the card that you sent through to me as well. Um, hello again, Ben, says Stephanie, Sheena and Crafty Friends. Hello. And hi also to Wendy, who says, I have um, two. So when my... So when my friends come over to play, we do not have to share. Um, I need new folders. I think, do we have those in stock? Check the web. I'm sure we do have folders, uh, MIDI folders available. We must have. Um, but thank you, Wendy. And again, if you want a second one, fire away. Great deal. Uh, the Bella Luna collection. Again, we've broken this up into smaller bundles for you. But the Essentials collection is one that you will certainly want to go for because it has got all of your hardware, if you like, and lots to be playing with um, within this set. Quickly rattle through this and get onto a demo with Sheena. The landscape builder, I think, Sheena, is such a brilliant idea mm. um, in the fact that, well, <laughs> you've got the ability to be able to build your own backgrounds with this, haven't Absolutely. you? Absolutely. It's such a user, workable one, that one. You just, yeah. um, for not just this collection, you'll use that time and time again, for sure. So again, you've got kind of your, your uh, water landscapes, your seas, your rivers, you've got your fields, you've got your uh, mountains could be, you've got your, your forests and your trees. You've also got embossing folders in here as well. So your five by seven embossing folder, that one's called uh, Dusk Till Dawn. Beautiful, beautiful um, scene once again. So we're kind of setting you off in the right direction that you've got all of these ways to create beautiful scenes to place the characters in. So you've got that beautiful um, girl on the swing, which is called what is that called? Moon what? Oh, moon gazing. Just couldn't quite make that out on the back of the board there. Uh, you've got your um, call, you've got your call of the wild, which is the wolf. Also, your hare's tail. Love this one. The um, the dolphin dreams. I mean, again, how 
cute to have all of these different animals within the collection. Um, love that. Then you've got the um, fantastic stamp sets. And as I remember it, these stamp sets are going to fit perfectly within the die, they aren't they? They fit perfectly inside there, yeah. So, Wish Upon a Star, I think, is super cute. I mean, think about all the different ways you can use that uh, beautiful image for all sorts of different occasions. Uh, weddings, maybe anniversary cards, but you've got Love You, uh, You Light Up the Dark. Ah, oh, and Wish Upon a Star. That one there, and then also your Magical Moonlight, which is that beautiful um, sort of forest scene with the moon and the beautiful lake will fit perfectly inside the uh, die here, that full moon. I mean, how cool is that die again? I love again? that moon, yeah. And I just think it's so, and Debbie Fisher said it's possibly one of her all time favorite dies. Really? She loves it, yeah. She said she'd use it for many things because you can use it, it's just a great die to put around anything, really. Mm. For sure, any of your other scenes will cut out and go inside there. This is a cool die set as well, the crescent moon. I love the way that you've got that foliage that you can wrap around the moon. Exactly, and you know what? That's what I've got ready here as well, Ben. I'll show you how they, you know, it's, it's such a, I'm not, I'm so pleased it was such a huge seller. That was a yeah. massive seller. And, um, and if you're thinking of that you might like it, don't hang around because I'm sure there can't be that many left now with this one. Um, it, was the, it was, if not the, one of the biggest sellers of birthday, wasn't it, it was, this collection? Yeah, yeah. It was, yeah. And yeah. Which was amazing. Thank you. Um, yeah. And lastly, you've got the beautiful stamp and die set. This one here, which is that um, floral crescent once again. So again, a nice way to, for you to be able to kind of like um, frame your makes with that, isn't it? Absolutely. Whether you stamp it or die cut it. Yeah. Make it like a floral moon. Um, it's 32 quid. I've just twigged on the price here. 32 pounds for all of that. Or forty dollars. That is that's I think that's the best price. Is that not the best price it's been? I'm sure that's it the best must price. Be. Again, it's because it's we've just got a little bit that way, you know, before it goes. Yep. Uh, saving 41.89 or 56.45 so get on that if you've not yet grabbed it and of course if you do want more as far as the consumables and embellishments are concerned uh, hit the shop the show shop the day page and you'll see all of those deals right there uh, Wendy just says I'm using the uh, landscape builder with a sketch pro pad thank you for giving me the confidence Sheena oh um, funny you should say that yeah here what we go. I have yet? Almost like you knew. What? I thought I'd show you just outside the box because this is the um, this is the uh, the uh, from the sketchbook pro. Um, uh, exactly what we were just talking about. Oh so uh, yeah. This is a stencil. So if you draw around your stencil and then you can put the detail on it and make it a tree, that's that stamp. This is this stamp here that you just stamp out and then just add little bits. You know, extend the lines if you want. Um, and I added some little rocks to it, so that's that one. And then this one is the I wasn't quite I haven't quite finished that one, but there's the the hairs um, and again the the tree that I've changed it a little bit more because all you need is the shape of the tree. Yeah. And then depending on where you put the little um, extra details, you're going to make it look different every time. But um, I thought that was just a way of showing you how outside of the box. Um, I know we've had that on before, but from one extreme to the other because. If you want to make it easier, not only does it work really well, obviously with the papers that came with Bella Luna, the backing papers, but it works great with these, um, with the Cosmic Collection too. Absolutely. So, and I love these uh, size papers. So if you look at the, the background with the moon like this, um, that, looks, uh, that looks really cool straight yeah. away. And then within that, you could have the, you know, just the wolf howling and you've got a really cool card without doing anything else to it you've got the little hairs that we can pop in there like this oh yeah as well so you can see how we've got the how quick would that card be though bed by using the backing papers and then just you know coloring these elements we'll color them in in a minute but what i've done as well is i cut these out of some um glittery um card and i've offset them just a little bit so that i've got a crescent moon with the um, with the glittery kind of band on it, and I think with the cosmic papers, with them being so um, bold, I think that silver really helps. Because the other thing I would be doing is trailing these little bits, the vines around that as uh, well. Oh, cool! Yeah. Yeah, and it looks really pretty. So whenever you've got any little scraps of paper, just make sure you cut these little guys out, and then you've got them all to use. And of course, you can use them in all your other cards as well like this, can't you? Um, mm. And again, you could just have the, the wolf in there howling um, like that, but we should, um, so just mix and match. Obviously the, the, um, the pictures fit in the middle as well. So you could have the scene in there 
um, with the, where's my clouds? I've lost my clouds with the silver around it. Oh, right there. Okay, don't panic. Panic over. <laughs> Stop okay. looking at everyone. So then you've got the that scene which will fit in there perfectly. But it works um, really well with the with the background paper. Should we have a bit of colouring in then? Yeah, why not? What I would say is cut everything out and then have a play like that. Um, you know, sort of just have a little uh, mess around like that. Now the clouds always look better with just a touch of blue on them. Not much. You don't. You still want them to look like white clouds. Yeah. But all I'm doing is I'm just catching the side of them, Ben, with a little little touch of blue ink. Um, you know, less is more. It's so a great tip, this, because I, I think people always perhaps struggle to know what to do with something which is white. Yes, because you know? if it, yeah, it's hard to show any shading on white without it turning not white. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So definitely a light hand and less, less is more is mm. the way to go for that. So we've got the clouds um, with a little bit of contouring on them. It just, it's not a lot, but it does make a difference. And then if you use like the glitter paste and things on that, you're sorted. So then the scene, if we want to put the scene in there, um, you've got choices on how you want to color them. We've got pencils or we've got ink pads. What would be the choice? Oh, um, do we have the essentials collection? We've got them all, haven't we? Well, hey, what, three Why do you sets? get one free, I think it is, got within what? the bundle. Okay, let's go with the watercolour pencils. Why yeah. not, as we have them? Um, right, then, so the good thing is, as the essentials do suggest that they're all, every colour's there that you're going to need. So I'm definitely going to need some neutral colours. Let me um, tell you why these are amazing. The first thing is, they're a thick pencil, so which means that they're going to house a thicker core, because yeah. that's what you're paying for. They're also bonded to the core, which means that when you sharpen them, they're not going to be, the core's not going to come separate from the wood, which is going to make them break as well. Um, don't drop them, leave them in the tin, but even then they're bonded, they're more, less likely to break. Um, they are also got loads of pigment and very little or no filler, which is the really um, big, big important thing because yeah. you don't want filler in your colouring products because that's the stuff that you... you that you're paying for the pigment is what you're paying for, not yeah. that. So what I'm doing is I'm going across this top bit with a little bit of a blue. Yeah. And um, just see how far back I'm holding the pencil. Yeah. Because I want this to be really quite pale, the best way to achieve that is to not hold the pencil too close to the, um, to the, to the tip, to the nib, because you tend to put more pressure on that way. So less is more, okay? And I'm going to pop a little bit of even maybe a little bit of black in here as well. Now, this looks really messy. And what because what you're doing is you're seeing the um, you're seeing just the, the pigment catch across the surface of the of the card. And it's not until you wet it that hopefully it all starts to blend together. And now it looks like a more like a, a night sky. Can you see how all those colors? So I used some black because I wanted it more muted, so I wanted yeah. it to look like an evening scene. And then I used some of the blue, and then, but I do want it paler towards where the water's coming in. And what you can do, you can always add more, but don't add more while it's still wet. Okay. Wait until this dries before you add more colour, because it'll grab, the colour will grab. If you put pigment onto a damp card, it just fixes it there nicely. So, right, thank you, that's yeah. it, I'm done, going nowhere. I'm staying where I'm at, a bit like me of an evening. <laughs> so <laughs> what you can do is take a bit of um, scrap card if you want to, uh, if you don't want to wait till it dries, or you don't want to dry it with your heat tool, and you can scribble like this, um, take the colour out you want to use, and then paint with it. So if you want to add more dark up here, can you see how we're just now painting with it like it's a regular um, watercolour? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, because basically that's what it is. That's what we've done is we've just taken it out of the lay out of the core of the pencil and then we've popped it on there so that we've got that. And I'm not worried about that because we can use the white on there if we want to make that a little bit lighter up there and we can put the clouds back in. So don't worry too much about losing the clouds on this either. But I'm really liking that it looks a bit for night time, if you want the colours to look authentic, take down the brightness of the colours. If you add kind of like the black and darker colours in with everything, yeah. it'll just tone everything down and it'll look more, um, you know, that time of the evening. Um, we'll and probably just put a little bit of this on the water, just paint with it, to be honest. It'll be just as quick, I think, for the amount we want. I'm just going for a, um, a slightly different kind of tone for the... Um, 
the lake like that. So can you see how we've just gone across there like that? Just so it looks a little bit different to the yeah. sky. We can bring a little bit of that blue in if you want, a little bit, but we'll, and then we can add more, more light into this if we want. Um, and make this bit darker under here. Lots of lovely comments coming through. Wendy just says the full moon could make a heck of a shaker. Uh, Gaz says, OMG, I'm so glad Sheena is playing like this. I love it. Uh -huh, thank you. Uh, Jean F says, hello, I'm just now viewing. And Hanlaw says, I was having a senior moment when I opened the stamp with the trees and boat. I panicked that I was missing the boat. I decided to stamp it anyway. I was looking at it sideways. Oh, uh, says hello. Well, I'm with you there. Yep, yeah, been there, done that. <laughs> yeah, easy to do. Easy to do. So I'm looking for kind of a brownie colour here, and just pop in a little bit. Um, just continuing. And again, every colour I'm putting on there, if it's looking too pale, it's getting a little bit of a dark because this is going to be in amongst the trees. You're not going to see much in there anyway. So. We're looking, we're going to add to that. Um, where's the green? Where did I put the green? Not that green. And a dark green. Bear with. Bear, Bear with, Corda. Yep. Right, okay. So I'm going to go back to the pencil and I'm just doing the lines like this up here. And I'm probably going to go for some darker bits in here as well. I'm going full on in here. Uh, so can you see how I'm just going for it with that area there? And I think we'll even put some dark some black into this as well. And I can come back in and put some um, detail in if we lose this when we, um, when we add the, um, the water, which it will. Yeah. But that's all right. So we'll put darker under there. And then wet that. And this should all blend in now. So you see all that color pop oh, out so there? Oh, so good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so all that colour that you think, oh no, where's it gone? It's, it's all there. And then we can colour that boat in yeah. and put some light on it and then we're, we're, almost, we're almost done. So um, I'll make a little bit of a, we'll do like a little red, kind of reddish boat on there. Um, Karen Fish has joined us saying hello again, everyone. Just got back from having lunch with a friend. Uh, if, you, if you have just joined us as well, around about sort of five or ten minutes, we'll be off to Essentials Corner. Get your questions in. We've got a few, I think. The, oh, the record. What was the record questions we had? She, no. It, uh, that, was a, that was a masterclass, but it was 25 questions over two hours. Wow. What do we normally have? We normally have about 10 or 12 questions, Sheena, don't we? Yeah, on the we get a few. Corner. Yeah, we get quite a few. I think we don't do bad, do we? My yeah. favourite week still was the week we chatted craft and then Sheena was answering your questions on uh, headphones. Headphones, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That was brilliant. Absolutely. Sort of yeah. said on a whim, because obviously we found out that uh, Sheena loves her headphones and knows quite a bit. And so I said on a whim, oh, you know, send in your headphone questions. And we got three questions. People asking through. headphone questions is brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So I'm just making this much darker around here because I just want this a bit more dramatic in the foreground. Can you see? And I'm not worried that I've lost some of the, the detail. Yeah. Because it's going to go in there anyway and it's going to be part of a, a bigger picture which I can put back in these lines with the pen or the pencil later, the tree lines. And I used a very pale ink. So you're going to lose that detail. And I wanted it to look really... Um, quite, you know, smoky and ethereal looking, which is good because that's what I've got. Um, and then we'll put some white back on there with the clouds and put a little bit of highlight in it. But it's definitely going to look more in night time when you see it oh, like yeah. this. Um, OK, I'm going to dry that, Ben. Then I'm yeah. going to put a little bit of detail with the pencil back in where I need it. Nice. Um, Sheena, you make it look so easy, says uh, Zip. Uh, it's beautiful. And uh, Michael Adams uh, says Sheena is one amazing, inspirational crafter. Oh, thank that's you. That is inspirational and amazing. Wow. That's, yeah. um, that's a good day then, isn't it? It's really? a good day, isn't it? Don't yeah. get much better than that. Thank you. No. Yeah. Get you some little badges made up for Throw next time. Throw a couple of numbers to me and see how, uh, how that feels. <laughs> um, right. So 
what I'm going to do is I'm just sharpening up a couple of lines here. So if you lose a bit of detail and you want it to look less stampy and more like you've, you've drawn it, you can always just go over with your pencil and just see where I'm strengthening some of those colours yeah. um, by going over again. I, if I was a little bit more organised, I would have been able to see where I've put my me, um, me, uh, pencils and things, but I'm just picking them up as I'm going, yeah. And again, this is the beauty of watercolour pencils because you can use yeah. the, um, you know, the, the, them dry to put the detail back if you want to emphasise anything like that. And um, the same with me, pop a little bit of... I've just twigged on the price of these as well. I know I said at the start it was like buy two, get one free. But that's an incredible buy to get these um, home, isn't it, Sheena? And I know you've touched it, it but really these really is. are like the, the, the creme de la creme, aren't they? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. It's, um, yeah, uh, these, these. Um, are we talking about the pencils or the... The aqua um, blend, yeah. Yeah, the pencils are fabulous because you know what? I just wouldn't even bother trying to teach anybody to do anything with a rubbish colouring product because you're going to hide into nothing. It's just not going to work because you can't learn anything because this, this it holds you back you yeah. need good quality coloring products or um all of the theory and everything you're being told it's like well that's not happening and it's not your fault it's the mm. product it yeah. needs to you know it needs to work for you um so i'm going to just put a little bit of a golden kind of glow on that moon i might as well and then we'll put a little bit of um you, know, you can pop a little bit of light on the water a little bit like that and then We'll use the white pen to put back some of the bits that we've lost on there. And that'll go over the top and dull that down a little bit. And then um, we'll just put it on this overhead and see what it looks like. Let me get the white pen in. Yeah. So this is where if you've lost some of your clouds, you can see how you can just put them back in and you can actually have that one coming over the moon as well. Oh, is that um, that pen again from the, uh, the exactly, sketch yeah. pack? And I think that sold out, didn't it? The pen. It did, yeah. yeah. But you know what the good news is? We heard it from Leanne Chivers. Yeah. Herself last week. What's that? Uh, another week before is that it's coming back in its own right as a highlighter kit. Yes. What's so coming back? The, the, the pen. Oh. And the um, gouache. Oh, yeah. As a highlighter kit because I use them all the time. And that's so, how cool is that? Nice. Excellent news. Yeah, it's such a good... I mean, I go through so many white pens and the amount of people... Who, you know, if you're a stamper, you always need a white pen, a good white pen, and you're always looking for... And they're always like, oh, what about this one? And we're all asking each other, and you think you've found the perfect pen, and then you find it doesn't... You know, if the gel pens will stop working again, you think, oh, I thought I had everything answered there. Mm. Um, but this one, because it's, um, a, it's like a valve system, when it stops and if it gets dirty, you just give it a scribble and then give it a pump with that little, um, you know, to get the paint activated again. And then yeah. can you see how that there now has got that? Perfect. And you've got the little... And I think that'll, that there will go inside. So we'll get that little um, background back like that. And then we'll pop that oh, on, wow -wee. on there. But see how I've tried to keep yeah. to reflect colours that are in the that's incredible. thing as well. And then that's going to go on there like that. Like you say, and how then, great the crossover of the Cosmic and the Bella Luna isn't is that incredible, cool? Yeah, I love that. It? And that's good. They're good crafting products in my book because they're what's going to give a shot in the arm to the stuff you've already invested in. Yeah. You know, you don't have to start from scratch every time and think, oh, well, that's that, that's that, and I can't do any with this now because that only goes with this. Um, but that's, and that's harder to design, guys. That is much harder to, you know, so, um, yeah, absolutely. And just, you know, you can put little vines, a little swirly, cosmic, swirly twirlies around like that. Absolutely sensational. Um, Nanny to the girls has just joined us saying, hi all, I'm late, so I did a quick catch up. I'll try and go back and pay more attention a little bit later on. Yeah, if you get opportunity to watch this show back, and indeed Masterclass earlier on with the um, Mother Earth collection, two shows. You, you, you didn't need me to tell you that, they're Sheena shows, so you definitely need to go back and watch them. Watch them both. Uh, Sheena says, Pat, you make it look so easy and inspiring. I'm just sitting here with my chin dropping in total awe. Uh, so amazing. 
Uh, and Pat says, good news about the white pens. I started using them, but I'm hoarding the two that I have. Listen, the, I mean, demonstration, fantastic. The deal on the pencils, again, unbelievable, really. 72 you're getting here. Um, and what we've done with these is we've um, reconfigured them into sort of different sets, if you like. So the landscape collection, if I'll show you on the boards as well, I mean, they're beautiful gift ideas as well, these. I mean, if you're looking for uh, gift ideas, maybe for uh, Mother's Day or maybe you know, getting someone else into their colouring, into their crafting, th this is a great collection because really what you're doing is uh, paying for two and getting the third one for free. Your landscape collection brings you all of these fantastic colours. So you get 24 of those top-notch artist quality watercolour of pencils um, richly pigmented within each of the uh, collections and then of course once you're activating them with the water you get all of the different gradients of color within those 24 pens within that set but then you think about the ability that you've got to be able to mix the colors up how many different colors are you going to be able to create from just that one set and then when we add into the mix the other two i mean boy oh boy you've just got so much coloring possibility here this one is your portrait collection um, so again, does exactly what it says in the tin, gives you the opportunity uh, to create with all of these other fantastic colours. So in here you've got uh, loads of those sort of um, skin tones from your champagne right through to your um, soft cream, dove grey. But then you've got some beautiful sort of blushes and apricot, uh, some pinks in there as well, reds and greens going through that set too. So that's your two sets if you like. And then it's as if we're giving you your third set, your essentials for absolutely nothing. And again, there's the color palette that you're gonna be receiving from this set. And, and just beware again, you know, if you think to yourself, oh, well, you know, 72 pencils, aqua blend, you know, are, are they discontinuing these? No, we're not, it's not about that at all. It's about us just taking core product like this and giving you the opportunity to grab them at an unbelievable price. We don't need to do it uh, because, you know, these sell day in, day out, but it's a great opportunity for you to be able to grab them today. If you've already got them, no doubt you're getting these in your basket and you're topping up on them because obviously the ones that you've got will run out eventually. If you haven't yet got them, maybe you didn't want to spend 75 pounds or 90 bucks but 38 pounds 40 or 46 40 for the full collection is an incredible buy loads more other great deals there for you as well on the uh, website so do check them out we are whilst uh, you have a quick break and get over to the checkouts going to head over to essentials corner anything that you want to ask sheena i believe we've got uh, quite a few questions already in i will have a look at those as we head into this little break uh, linda will be sending them over um but get your questions in and we'll answer them in the final little section of the show anything you uh, i wanted to ask sheena ask us and we'll do it in the meantime let us get to know a lady who's going to be back with us a week on friday the lovely becky swarm Hi, I'm Becky. I'm the soft craft expert for Crafters Companion. I've always crafted. Um, I think because my parents worked at Shepperton Studios, I, I lived, I grew up at Shepperton. Um, they were always working, so my holidays, my weekends, and my evenings were spent at, at the um, studios. And I just sort of sit around with the other artists, and they'd give me a bit of clay to play with or some fabric. Um, so we were, I was always making things, and there were a couple of us, a couple of children around the same sort of age, and we just used to make clothes for our, our Cindy dolls. I'm flighty with my crafts. Um, I want to try everything, so I go all out and I decide tomorrow I'm going to be doing candle making and I buy all the stuff and I make candles and then I lose interest and then I move on to the next thing. I want to be able to have a little go at all sorts of crafts and I've always been like that ever since I was a small child so I think I can turn my hand and give anything a go. My craft inspiration I think comes a lot of that comes from the internet, looking online, being able to watch um, sort of artists producing bits and pieces as well as sort of um, you know, just general crafters but a lot of my inspiration came from um, sort of my mum and my mum's friends which were all sort of um, great designers and um, people that, that created all sorts of different things. The Crafters TV audience have been so kind to me so when I first started and I've not been here a huge amount of time and I've done a little bit of presenting I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling and it's nice that people keep messaging in you know we see the same same people we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people so it's just the fact that people like what we do and they're pleased and I do love it when people send us photographs of the items that they've made and when they've been inspired by the shows I think that's great. My biggest achievement is um, it, it, when I put it on social media I said that I was more proud of this than I was when I had my children. Um, it was when I won um, a, a demo of the week 
I was just absolutely gobsmacked that I'd won Demo of the Week. I don't often win Demo of the Day, so to win Demo of the Week, I was really, really super excited. Oh God, I can't give you the gossip because I promised that I wouldn't give any of the gossip away, but it is great. Um, we, lots of us stay overnight in a house here, um, which is brilliant because we all get to know each other on a like real personal kind of level rather than just colleagues. So it's a really great atmosphere. And there's so much to learn from all of these people that I work with. So I, I feel really quite blessed um, to be part of this. And it is a happy family, I have to be honest. I think I've always been a little bit crafty. Um, I used to craft when I was very young. And I say craft, I used to take a needle and a cotton and sew all my own clothes, tie dyeing and things like that. So what makes Crafters TV special in my eyes is the community, the family spirit, the education, everything to do with craft. We are all like-minded people who share a passion and a passion for Crafters Companion on all the things that we do. I met some real friends as well, because we talk about customers, but really, they go in as a customer, come out as a friend. The support that I get is amazing. The messages I get are amazing. And I do interact quite a lot. So I'm open any time of the day and night to answer any crafty questions. Whether I answer straight away at three o'clock in the morning may be a different matter, but it's lovely to be able to reach out and help. The one for me is the Ultimate Pro. The Ultimate Pro is just an amazing piece of equipment, a core product that I can't live without because I can make all my card blanks from it. So when I mean card blanks, I mean my bases uh, from all sorts of different shapes and sizes. Envelopes on there, bow making on there, different shape cards on there. Um, it literally is the tool that keeps on giving and giving. So for me, that's one of the core products that I can't live without. Oh, sorry. And, uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I, was, I was terribly confused. <laughs> <laughs> we were just, uh, just having a bit of a conversation with, uh, with Jamie about Mike's going live, so I thought I would uh, scare him a bit, but he's, he's di <laughs> he just goes, you didn't scare me, you're just annoying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, they're having a tiff. <laughs> well, yeah. well I'm, he's, having a, he's uh, starting a tiff he's on his own, I think. He's picking on you, isn't he, Pat? He's picking on me. Oh. Isn't it true though? Like, because everyone thinks I'm, you know, a bit of a stirrer, but I think I get, I get picked on quite a lot. Here, don't e, I? But I wouldn't melt. I know. Yeah. When have you ever known me the to halo like? Halo glowing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know. Not going to go back to the conversations with Craig yesterday because he's just as bad as you, Jamie. So we'll just we'll move on. Um, we're, we're in Essentials Corner. We, if you've got any more questions, fire them in. Tonight is the night. If you've ever wanted a question answered and you're like, oh, I'm never going to get my question in. Do it now and we will um, get to your question, I'm sure, uh, before seven o'clock. Um, let's start with... A, uh, well, very beginning. Let's start at the very beginning. Oh. I will um, summarise... Summarise, is that a word? Yeah. Summarise um, a, a couple of questions which okay. are about sort of you and I suppose the question is for people who don't know, like, how d have you always been arty and crafty did it start for you at like a a young yeah. age yes for as long as i can remember yeah um my um, mother used to cook and i used to eat it all <laughs> <laughs> so um she was an amazing cook and my dad was a old you know letter letter press printer oh, yeah you know the old type that used to you know the whole thing yeah yeah so when i was a kid there was always off cuts of card bits and pieces because he would bring it home i'd have paper and card everywhere it's been my life from as long as I can remember yeah and then I found that I could draw from an early age but then exactly as we we're talking about the watercolor pencils my parents bought me good quality um, drawing products which meant that I gave me a good fighting chance because to they knew to that you could do it or just because that I think they saw that I was I think they encouraged it because we're quite crafty anyway but having say, said that it's funny because I think it's kind of in your DNA yeah because um, my niece was two years younger than me, and when we used to be playing, I used to be playing, colouring in, um, drawing, making a mess, crafty things, and she used to be playing at offices and mm. things. And it ends up where she ended up working and like, running a business and 
working in an office and being a PE and things for years, and here I am with me colouring in things. So it's really, I think there is, it's almost like nature and nurture. Yeah. But I think that both came into play, um, and, and I think it helps. And I definitely do feel strongly that if you've got young ones in the house, things like the Spectrum range are so good, but yeah. so affordable to give young ones a chance to see if that's where they're going to be good at, you know, um, a, a, a drawing or whatever. Drawing was something that I, like I was saying earlier, it's, it's like a technical skill. I was talking to someone in the green room about this and it's something that, um, it, it's kind of like, um, it's not the arty creative process necessarily mm. it's just something you can do i've always been good at you know when you did still life at school and you yeah. put a plant like this in and maybe usually a, a bowl of fruit and then you draw it that's something i could i could do but the arty bit is what goes beyond that it's yeah. like what materials you use how so technical drawing is more of a technical skill and that's when i'm drawing the stamps or the technical skill the creative side for me is i have to kind of work back i have to think of how you can visualise a finished concept mm -hmm. like Bella Luna and think about a moon and think about we could have a, a full moon and then we can have a, someone swinging on a moon and yeah. you think of hairs looking up at the moon and you know, to the moon and back and that all those things that you're influenced with from everywhere and then take it back and think right so which ones would be dyes which ones would be stamps mm -hmm. And then what papers, what were the papers are like and what colour palette. And that's how that whole creative process works. Amazing. I used to marvel at my nan as well, actually, because like the, the, I suppose, yeah, you know, I like to have a bit of a go here, but certainly my creative side of things is I think in the era of sort of music and drama and all that kind of stuff. But my nan was um, a, an unbelievable artist. She used to do um, like, you know, canvas um, drawings. And, and then later on, she would buy um, like ceramics and she'd paint onto ceramics yeah. and she'd have her own little kiln at home. Oh, she'd fabulous, like fire all yeah. And I only um, was thinking about her recently because I was back home and my mum's got it all now in like the, yeah. the cabinet at home. And just to sort of sit and watch her and, you know, just almost like doing it, just watching her like, you know, painting onto a canvas, it's incredible and thinking like, where are you getting all of these ideas from? It is, um, it's really cool because in my spare time, you know, my, my work time is, coming up with concepts for you guys to play with that you can put your creative stamp onto yeah. not just stamp but and dies and everything but you know um and but for the downtime for my creativity i like to um do things like use a like a sketchbook mm. and i told you i collect fountain pens oh yeah so i love to draw with old fountain pens or any fountain pens i've got in my bag through there, you know, I've got four fountain pens with me, you carry all the time. And and then I'll try and the thing is is to draw draw more loosely, like the flower we did earlier, you know, it was just scribbly. Yeah. So that it isn't as um technically um you know correct, botanically correct as a flower. Make it more loose and have fun with the colour and make it quirkier. Yeah. And that's and that's where you get creative with it. Um some more questions coming through uh, one well a couple of questions again i can kind of like put into one so a few people asking about that faux leather yeah. technique that you did yeah, yeah. Uh, a bit of confusion as to like what we were spraying because i know if you talk about what you used at the start a few people asking about sprays like the stick and spray and the stick and shine what did you use like spray wise when you did the right faux leather? so all you need to start off with some craft card use the regular craft card not the um not the nina one the regular craft card and you're going to spray it on both sides with a diluted um, a diluted solution of yeah. glycerin. So any spray bottle you've got, I just use the little spray bottles that we've got in the studio. They don't hold a lot, but any, you know, that mister spray, anything you've got, plant mister spray, anything like that. But you want about a one part glycerin to maybe seven or eight water. You don't want it much stronger than that. Um, a little bit of glycerin goes a long way yeah. and you shake it up. So no more than one, one to seven. So one glycerin, seven water. Shake it up and then you spray it both sides and keep moving it and then scrunch it in until it's all flippy floppity and then put it through your folder. Then you dry it and then you ink it with your water reactive inks. And then to finish it off, what I use to seal it so it makes it waterproof, um, it was uh, spray and shine. Okay. But what you could use before that, if you've got something like an acrylic sealant, um, like um, you know, like like a um, 
like a Mod Podge kind of thing uh, okay. or, a, or yeah, a, yeah. A, a liquid um, water-based varnish, anything like that, you could brush that over. But be careful because that might lift a bit of your colour because that's water-based as well. Whereas the spray and shine doesn't, because that's oil-based, it doesn't move the water-based ink that you've got underneath, but it does seal it. What I would do after that, if I wanted to make it into like a pouch and wrap around a book or make a book cover or a wrap, um, um, would be to stick it with the uh, tacky glue onto um, cotton fabric. Use tacky glue all over the back of the fabric and the thing and bond it together and it becomes really tough. Of course, uh, you can go back and watch everything that Sheena showed us. Uh, it was at the top of the last hour. So if you go back to the start of the show, basically, uh, and you can watch it back, no doubt it will be repeated on uh, Crafters TV 24-7. Uh, question from Dawn, uh, one of our newer crafters. Um, she says, I just tried gilding wax and I Yay. love it. Yeah. Uh, she says, my new obsession. Uh, does it come in any other colours beside the goldish tone? Uh, by the way, you guys rock. Well, thank you for that. Oh, thank you. We do lots of different golds, don't yeah. we? I have to say, my all-time favourite gilding wax is Pebio gilding wax. And that was something that Leanne and I discovered in Marseille many years ago when we went to, <laughs> to Pebio. Zig and Zag. That was it. Can you imagine? On, on tour. Zig and Zag on tour. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was an event. Um, so, yeah. And, and we, we, we sort of behaved sometimes as well. So, they let us loose in the factory and we came back with the gilding wax. And at that time, there was the, the gold that you're talking about. There was the, um, like, the um, antique gold, which is like coppery colour. Yeah. And silver. Yes. So, straight away, you've got those. And then you've got different shades of gold. But the reason they're all just metallic shades is that it's real metal in this gilding wax. And it's, um, it's not like some of the gilding waxes you might have tried that are like an acrylic base, which do dry over time. No matter how tight you put the lids on, I haven't found one yet that didn't eventually dry on me. But the Pebio ones don't because they're like an emulsion. They're like a, a wax and um, acrylic hybrid. And I haven't had the Pebio ones dry yet, and I've used my jaws for years. Um, and the reason that they look so cool is that it's real metal in them. So if you're loving that one you've got, try the silver. Um, great question, which has come through from, oh, I've lost it now. Who was it? It was Sherry Miller. I mean, I don't know if you're gonna be able to answer this question. What is the favorite collection that you've created so far? <gasps> what? You've got your arms folded now. Whoa. What? You know what? They change all the time, Sherry. Um, I've got a one that's coming up. Well, the one next week I really love, but the one after that is really cool as well. Um, it's different. I tell you what, the one that I usually love is, a bit, is when it gets a little bit more quirky sometimes, you know? Okay. Because I, 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 like to, I love to draw flowers and I love to draw um, scenes and things like that, but when you try and think outside the box and you think, I hope people like this and I hope that, yeah, I like those ones too. It's a tough one. I haven't got a favourite. Oh, some, I know there are, But there are some that I really have loved um, through the, I do love Bella Luna. Yeah. I think since I've been back with, with Crafters, Bella Luna has been my favourite. I, I, I was about to, I'm going to sound like a bit of a, uh, a suck up here, but I've, I've really enjoyed all the collections that you brought. I, I've, I've loved the, um, the Garden Visitors. Yeah. I absolutely love that. Because yeah. what I like about that is that you've got a, um, a lot of kind of different visitors that you wouldn't normally find no. in the collection. And they're pretty. Yeah. Who thought a snail could be so I know. floral? I know. Yeah, Brian with his decorated floral shell. And I also love the, um, oh, the names escaping me. The collections, the, the snowflake and the timeless. Yeah, oh, the and leaves. With the leaves. You know what? Incredible. That might be my favourite. Yeah. I'm thinking it isn't. I love Bella Luna, but I think timeless leaves was me. Because you know what? I just love leaves. I love that concept of picture in picture and the fact that it's for all year. Yeah, yeah it was a good one. Yeah, it was a good one. Um, great question here from Tony uh, Roosh. Thank you, Tony, for this one. She says, Sheena, why do some watercolours grab the paper more than others? She says, I've done draw the line with browns and blues and they're amazing, but red seems to want to grab the paper and not spread. She says, I'm using CC watercolour paper and my aqua pen. So is there, is there a better colour to work with? It's the way it is. You know what? It is colours. Ha, huh, colours, what they like, eh? What you like, colours. What are they like? And it's the same with watercolours as well. Some colours just don't move and they stain quicker than others. And it's usually reds. Reds are little 
pesky little thing they are <laughs> they um, reds uh, yeah ooh, those reds and it's the same with traditional watercolors and very expensive watercolors if you want to do like the wet into wet technique i did some of the pigments are heavier than other pigments and some of the dyes uh, don't move as well as other dyes and it's not you it's the pen it's the colors you will find that you mm. will find that that some move it better than others it's, um, it's not you Thank you everyone for the comments still coming through. There's lots of sheen and love uh, for all the demos. Um, and Judith, thank you for yours. First comment from Judith, I appreciate this. She says, I joined late, I've never commented before, but I had to let Ben know that the robot he was on about was in Buck Rogers. Uh, so thank you for that, Judith. Comment more. It's lovely to see yeah. uh, first time commenters. Don't be shy, no. uh, comment away, get chatting with us. Any questions you can fire in. There's, we always say there's never any silly questions and the thing is the more you get chatting the more you'll meet the rest of our crafty family um, and you'll i think you'll get even more out of the channel um question from christy mahoney probably the final one just before we wrap up uh question for sheeny she for sheeny for sheena sheeny sheeny all right sheeny <laughs> she says christine says hello <laughs> she know. did you have a great time with gaz uh, you've oh. met one of my lifetime friends slash brothers before i even did he's such a great guy says christine i had a lovely time time with Gaz. He brought me birthday cake. Come on. Was this at Evesham? Oh, at Evesham, yeah. He brought me and Maria two huge chunks of birthday cake. It was delicious. We had it when we got home. And um, we went out for lunch. We had a good laugh. We just completely... Um, you know when somebody just get, gets your yeah. humour and gets the same yeah we've just laughed all the time it was fabulous Christine next time you come across the pond we'll have to do a gathering um, Margaret is saying Sheena and Crafters Companion are on my bucket list I hope to get to the UK someday I want to have a tour of the Crafters Companion building and meet Sheena maybe a demo at one of your stores first step though passport for those of you that are in the uk and want to meet sheena just remind us again when you're 23rd at the, store. At the evesham store yeah so for the full day 10 till 4 on the 23rd i'll be there so just drop in we've got amazing great goodie bags we've i've got just seen well on your everything. page actually that we, yeah it's yeah, like really good goodie stuffed bags, a goodie yeah. bag for not very much with a lot oh, in it. yeah so you can call ahead to the store book yours um before that if you want to as well but yeah it'll be great fun and you know it'll be i love a bit of audience participation so we'll have a laugh as well it'll be great looking forward to that yeah it's been a while there's something great isn't there about um i used to love all of the live events when we do live shows there's something um else about meeting people and doing a live show in front of a oh, live audience fab, in front of a live studio audience a live studio audience yeah and it's, it's, it's good because it's uh, more interactive then and if you want to see something we can do it and then we go off piece and yeah they've got all the stuff there so we'll play with whatever we need to play with yeah it's great um Brilliant questions, everybody. Thank you. Really thoroughly enjoyed that um, Essentials Corner. And uh, Gaz has just said it really was the best day ever meeting you. Oh, so that's brilliant. Nice, Cheers, Gaz. Right. Yeah. And Gaz is coming back on the, uh, for the, uh, oh, the, the demo day. day. Yeah, he's coming back. Yeah. Nice one. Um, if you want to find more about that, there's uh, details will come up on our page. And I know you've done a post on your Inkets page yeah. as well, haven't you? Cool. Yes, absolutely. So, yeah. yeah it's all there. Fantastic. Um, what a day. It's been so much fun. Are you, you're back with us next week, aren't you? Next week, yeah. Next Wednesday. With a launch. Woo! That's uh, next week where we've got about a zillion launches, haven't we? I feel like we've got lots of new stuff yeah, coming up. Yeah, you're going to be busy. Yeah, yeah oh, you're I know. busy. I know. Um, thank you so much, though. Cheers, Bed. Be lovely fantastic. as usual. Thanks, everybody. Um, always a pleasure. Always great. We love Sheena Wednesdays here at Crafters TV. Um, just to say as well, the fun isn't finished. If you head over to the uh, Crafters Companion um, Facebook page and Crafters Companion YouTube, um, Craig's doing a show for you. He's got um, the QBC preview um, with lots to look at. Um, supposed to be an hour. I think it'll probably be longer. You know what Craig's like, but make sure you join him. I did say that I would mention, so uh, that's going to be a fantastic way to finish your day. And talking to Craig or Bagel, I'm with him tomorrow. You will not want to miss tomorrow. We've got a first look uh, of some amazing items which we'll be launching next week. Plus, I think we've got one of the best launches that a lot of people missed out on on HSN yesterday. I saw a few comments of people saying those um, tag dies disappeared quickly. You'll be able to grab them with us tomorrow. The official launch of those will be 2 o'clock UK time. And then tomorrow evening, we've never done it before. It could be chaos. We have got a bingo cartload with free gifts and your chance to win. We're going to be playing bingo. You're going to be playing bingo whilst we do the cartload. Check your emails for your bingo card it's going to be amazing once again thank you to sheena thank you to all the team for all their help today it's been marvelous we'll see you again tomorrow same time same place until then bye for now